In the past week, European thermal coal prices have fallen below $118 per ton. This drop primarily stems from the Israeli government's announcement that it won't take military action against Iran's energy and nuclear infrastructure. This decision has eased fears about potential energy supply disruptions from the Middle East, calming a market that was previously on edge over possible geopolitical conflicts affecting fuel sources. However, it's not all smooth sailing. Over in the natural gas market, prices at the TTF hub surged to $451 per 1,000 cubic meters, marking a $9 increase compared to last week. This spike has made coal a more attractive option for power producers, adding an interesting twist to the energy landscape. Even with these shifts, coal stocks at the Amsterdam-Rotterdam-Antwerp terminals have held steady at 3.54 million tons, which is typical for this time of year. It seems there's a cautious balance in supply and demand, with European buyers closely watching price trends before making purchasing decisions. Moving to South Africa, high calorific value coal prices have also dropped to $110 per ton, mirroring the European market's movements. Tight supply levels are a concern, with exports from the Richards Bay coal terminal remaining below 50 million tons for the second year in a row. Infrastructure constraints and logistical issues are to blame for the limited supply. Interestingly, Indian demand for South African coal remains strong, largely driven by rising costs in the hot briquetted iron and steel sectors. With the Diwali holidays coming up, we can expect a notable increase in coal demand from India, especially as industrial activities ramp up after the holiday season. In China, the coal market has seen some interesting developments. Prices for 5,500 nar coal at the port of Qinhuangdao have decreased by $2 settling at $121 per tons. Shenhua, China's largest coal producer, has cut its purchase prices from third-party suppliers, with other producers following suit. This price reduction reflects a surplus in coal supply, bolstered by China's recent push to improve domestic transportation. Since October began, the country has expanded coal transportation routes significantly, which is likely contributing to the robust supply. As of mid-October, Coal stockpiles at major ports remain high at 24.2 million tons. Many consumers are now scaling back their trading activity, waiting for better price trends. Looking at the Indonesian and Australian coal markets, we see varying demand and geopolitical factors at play. In Indonesia, 5,900 GAR coal prices are stable at $93 per tons, indicating a balance between production and consumption. On the other hand, 4,200 GAR prices have climbed to $52.5 per ton due to robust demand from Chinese buyers seeking affordable energy sources. In Australia, high calorific value coal prices have fallen to between $147 and $148 per ton, influenced by weaker Asian demand and competitive pricing from other coal-producing nations. Plus, forecasts of intense cyclones in Queensland could disrupt coal exports which highlights the importance of monitoring environmental factors that can impact production and trade. Finally, let's talk about metallurgical coal prices. Recently, Australian hard-coking coal prices spiked above $210 per tonne, but quickly dropped nearly $6 the next day, settling at $206 per tonne. This volatility is affecting Indian and Chinese consumers, who are now adjusting their demand expectations. The overall market is feeling the effects of declining real estate stimulus measures in China, which has diminished market optimism and affected industrial demand. European thermal coal markets are feeling the pressure from fluctuating gas prices and steady Indian demand, while South African and Chinese coal markets face their own unique challenges. As we look forward, the potential impacts of weather-related disruptions and ongoing geopolitical tensions will be key factors to watch in the coming weeks.